The multiverse has been officially confirmed from the MCU's next phase, and we cannot wait to see what happens next. However, many fans have been wondering what they need to know going into the next phase. What are the terms? What is the overall concept of it? And what locations are we going to visit? Well, that will be all answered in today's video as we discuss the MCU's guide to the multiverse. The multiverse has been officially confirmed. The multiverse has finally become the next centerpiece of the Marvel Cinematic Universe's future. So today, we're going to discuss every key term, location, event, and concept you'll need to know when going into this next phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Over the last few years, Marvel Studios has dropped multiple hints about the multiverse's existence, but going on from Phase 4 and beyond is where audiences are finally going to be introduced to all these possibilities and see them explored on the big screen. Loki was the first piece of Marvel content that fully explored the multiverse through the eyes of Tom Hiddleston's character. This version of the character had just evaded the Avengers' capture in an alternate version of the MCU's timeline. We then saw the multiverse continued in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and Marvel's What If Animated series. Both of these series explored how the MCU could be very different if events unfolded in various ways. There's been a lot of speculation about the multiverse, and its growing importance for quite a long time within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Back in 2016, with the release of Doctor Strange, the film originally mentioned the existence of the multiverse. Before Spider-Man Far From Home was released, trailers hinted towards the multiverse being explored by the character Mysterio. But when fans finally saw the film, they realized it was all a facade. Even during the Avengers Endgame, we wanted to see more significant multiversal implications, but we only got a small amount through their time travel missions. However, it finally looks like Marvel Studios are going to explore and travel beyond the restraint of the main MCU timeline with Phase 4. The fourth phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe is finally allowing them to have insanely creative swings within their famed universe. This is already including bringing back Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man and Patrick Stewart's Professor X. The central part of the next few phases has now been confirmed to revolve around the multiverse as both Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, and Avengers Avengers Secret War have been officially confirmed to be a two-part event that Marvel is now building towards within the multiversal saga. This will be similar to how the Infinity Stones and Thanos were integral parts of the early days of the Infinity Saga, leading up to the two-part Avengers movie. The villain for this saga seems to be Kang the Conqueror, and he was finally introduced within Loki and should be shown off more within Ant-Man 3. What comes next is potentially very exciting, but this also comes with complexity for its audiences, as they now need to understand which features will remain familiar. So let's get into our complete guide to the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Multiverse. What is the MCU Multiverse? Throughout the vast majority of Marvel's projects over the last decade, they have been concentrated within a singular universe known as Earth-616. This covered the entirety of the Infinity Saga, but also means that the multiversal beginnings of Loki have changed the MCU forever. The multiverse itself is a term that describes the existence of an infinite number of dimensions and realities that are very similar to one another. It's unknown how the multiverse was created within the MCU, but we know this phenomenon on is how multiple different versions of the same character can exist across the vast universe. In Marvel Comics, it is believed that the first Sorcerer Supreme, Agamotto, was the one who created the multiverse in the first place. He and other sorcerers used the multiverse as a source for their magical powers throughout their time as Sorcerer Supreme. In the MCU, the multiverse was controlled for a long time, but was effectively reborn when Sylvie and Loki killed He Who Remains. Who was controlling it? Sacred Timeline One of the most important aspects of the multiverse is the Sacred Timeline, which was explained during the final episode of Loki by He Who Remains. In the aftermath of the previous multiversal war, the Sacred Timeline was created as a coalition of parallel realities that always led to the birth of He Who Remains instead of any other version of Kang the Conqueror. The Sacred Timeline is a multiverse encapsulating every Marvel Studios project produced from Iron Man onwards in the same universe. Loki and Marvel's What If do not count as taking place in the Sacred Timeline, as they appear in alternate timelines. The downside of the Sacred Timeline is that nothing could be changed, meaning that everything that's happened in the MCU had to happen that way. This means that the way the Avengers defeated Thanos had to happen that way, and Loki made his way to his remains was set to happen no matter what, restarting the multiverse in every possible outcome. Branch Timelines Another important aspect that comes off the sacred timeline is the idea of branch timelines. This concept was heavily explored within Marvel's Loki, but let's explain what it's about. A branch timeline is a new timeline that branches off the sacred timeline and is caused by a change in how events were originally supposed to unfold. These branch timelines are not permanent upon their creation, as their effects can be reversed under race by those who have access to them. The only way the branch timeline can become permanent is if it reaches the red lines, meaning it becomes a permanent part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There are currently a few confirmed branch timelines, such as Earth-838 timelines from Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, where the Illuminati occur, as well as this. There's even Sony's Venomverse, which is technically an alternate part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Variants The variants are a super important aspect of the multiversal saga going 
going forward and should play heavily into the upcoming movies, especially the Avengers outings. A variant is any version of an individual within the sacred timeline. This means they can be slightly different or entirely different versions of the same person. This all depends on the circumstances of their creation. We have already seen a few confirmed variants within the MCU's multiverse, including the Earth 838 Illuminati team, Tobey Maguire, and Andrew Garfield's version of Spider-Man, and even the many different versions of Loki that we witnessed within his own Disney Plus series. There were even more cases in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness as Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Baron Mordo, and Captain Carter were all part of the Illuminati, and were variants of the same characters featured within the Sacred Timeline. This also allowed us to finally see Patrick Stewart's Professor X and Anson Mount's Black Bolt within the MCU after they had previously appeared in non-MCU type projects. Nexus Beings So far, one of the most important things we have seen within the MCU is the idea of a Nexus Being. Though the term itself hasn't been officially named within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, we know that it's a pretty clear concept within the rules that Marvel has been working with. A Nexus Being is powerful enough to affect all probabilities and change the futurists their extreme powers. So far in the MCU, Scarlet Witch has been the only confirmed Nexus Being, as she could completely warp reality due to her outstanding powers. We know that more Nexus Beings are bound to appear in the Multiversal Saga, and we cannot wait to see how their powers stack up to the Scarlet Witch. Finally, Incursions. The final term we will cover in today's video is the idea of incursions. These are easily one of the biggest threats to the Multiversal Saga within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This term and what they are was introduced in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Incursions are named multiversal events where two universes happen to collide. The outcome can be completely disastrous as at least one, if not both, of the universes will most likely be destroyed within the incursion. We have no confirmation what can cause an incursion, but the MCU has already implied that there are various ways to stop them. Doctor Strange 2 included different examples of incursions. In 838, Doctor Strange caused an incursion by dreamwalking, eventually destroying an entire universe. The post credit scene of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness also shows us what Doctor Strange's next outing will likely be, as Clea appears to help him take on some incursions throughout the multiverse. We can't wait to see how incursions play into the overall story of the next few Marvel films, as they're most likely set to be the reason for most of his movies existing in the first place. And that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest video. If you did, please let us know in the comment section below. It would be very helpful. Make sure to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell rung. Thank you for watching today's video. Bye!